So here is a table that we've got to complete. We have, uh, in a couple of cases, part of the equation, we've got centre and radius, OK? So we just need to fill in the gaps. So here is x plus 5 squared plus y minus 8 squared equals 16. First, identifying the centre. So the centre will be at minus 5, positive 8. OK, so it's changed the signs of what's inside the bracket. So minus 5 and positive 8. Now the radius is the square root of that number, square root of 16, so 4. Notice how the radius is not plus or minus 4. You can't have a negative radius because a radius represents a distance. And you can't have a negative distance. So if we're given the centre and the radius, then the equation would be x plus 3 squared plus y minus 10 squared equals the 8 squared, so 64. And that is the equation I need. Then finally, we have the radius given to us. So we need to put that into the equation. So 2 root 30 squared is going to be, so if you think about squaring this, we've got 2 squared, so 4, times by root 30 squared, so 30. And you'd get 120. So this is 120. And then finally, we have the centre. So we would have 1 and 0. So 1, 0 is the centre of the circle. So if you've just got a y squared there or an x squared, that's identifying that it's going through uh, 0 on either the x or y axis. Okay? And that's how we can fill in a table like this.